All right, guys, today we're doing an um, unboxing and an in-depth uh, shooting review. My first initial thoughts, first 100 rounds of the new uh, Taurus GX4 Carry. Uh, it's a new firearm, new pistol, just came out about three weeks ago. Uh, today's the uh, 15th of October, so it just released about three weeks ago again. Um, I was kind of intrigued by it. I was uh, starting to look at some more, I guess, quote-unquote budget pistols as I'm getting into the hobby. And so a few weeks back, like I said, uh, I heard about the GX4 carry just came out, um, kind of read about it, looked at it and looked pretty, looked pretty nice. And of course, um, the little bit that I didn't know about pistols before I really got into the hobby this year was, you know, Taurus, notoriously known, like, you know, bad or cheap brand or whatever. Um, but in some of the research I've been doing, a lot of people have been saying that over the last couple of years, they've actually improved uh, starting out, starting with their what is it the gs2 or g3 g2 g3 series one of them two that they really started getting a little bit better um so I, again i was intrigued by this gx4 carry that just came out so picked it up took it to the range and you'll see later in the video first hundred first hundred rounds through it had, had no issues um I gotta be honest i really liked how it shot uh of course the test is in, in the time how long you know if it'll withstand the the test of you know of time i guess uh, putting so you know a few more hundred rounds in it this weekend probably going to try to get up to about 500 rounds and it really break it in and see if there's any issues uh but yeah so this is a gx4 carry uh apparently it's like their top of the line their their series is a gx4 series so this is a gx4 carry uh so let's go ahead and start with the unboxing so it does come with this nice cool little uh rugged looking box of course with their their infamous logo right the bullhorn the toro which is i guess their what they call their slides, I think, or their optic plates. I think it's the slides, the Toro slides or Toro plates. I'm not sure. So let's go ahead and see what comes with the pistol. Uh, it was it was uh, just shy of uh, 500 bucks. It was about 470 with everything in it. You know, so let's go ahead and turn this around. Again, I'm doing the unboxing. Uh, I have put the first 100 rounds through here, but pretty much it's still all the way it came. So let's talk about what it comes with and get some of the least important stuff out of the way. Of course, our uh, lock. I can't, can't have too many of those. That's your uh, chamber flag here for safety. Uh, let's go ahead and get... It looks like it, it did, did come with a GX4 manual. I guess they didn't want to reprint all these. For the most part, it's pretty similar. Um, I've already gone through here and kind of looked at it. So there are some pages here that are specific to the GX4 uh, carry. Uh, so there's really no point to print on you uh, instruction manual. Uh, but it is a GX4 picture. But as you can see, this is a GX4 carry. Uh, so it does come with your instruction manual. It's my nice little receipt there. Um, warranty, activate your warranty. And of course, the little read manual before you sells over the trigger guard. Uh, so this does come with three uh, back straps. So some of you guys that uh, you know like to have that customizable back strap or, or grip that kind of help out. Uh, so there's two here really big difference between the two this is the small and it looks like the medium and right away i switched everybody knows right fat tactical i switched to the large so there's a real significant difference in sizes which i really like that because you can really feel the difference versus like a moderate almost to no change at all uh so kind of have let me see if i can get a good better view of these three together side by side um that's yeah, probably about as bad as i can get it with my fat hands let me see here. It's like I'm holding up chopsticks. There we go. A little bit better. So you got the small all the way to the right, uh, the, the medium, and then the large that I have installed right now for my giant hands. There's the three there. Uh, let's keep those in there. It does come with two mags, two 15-round mags. And you saw that mag release. It's pretty awesome. It looks like they are uh, aluminum steel. I'm not real good on materials, but they are metal. They're not plastic. Uh, they do have the uh, identifiers here. You can see the 15 rounds here, so it's pretty nice. It is the double stack, so that firm does get a little bit bigger. And again, it does come with uh, two magazines, the two 15-round mags. It says here what? The Metgar. A Metgar, Man Metgar, Metgar made in Italy. I'm not, Again, I'm not a, a huge uh, tourist person. It's the first one, so I'm not sure if that means anything. Um, looking at some of the Tauruses and watching some other videos on, on the GX4 and, and the, the G3, when I was actually looking at, I do notice the base plates are different. Uh, so they're not kind of squared off. These are more tapered up. So no bullets, obviously nothing in there. We're safety. 
safety check or safety check. So when you have it in there, you don't have this typical big square block uh, here. So I guess if you're carrying it right concealed, it kind of curves. So if you're worried about printing, it doesn't come straight out and go around here. So it, it does curve in if that makes a big difference uh, to some of you guys. Uh, one thing, it didn't bother me holding the gun or anything like that, but I just would have liked this to be kind of flush as far as the look. I uh, just don't like that it just kind of cuts off right here at the back end. And it is inserted all the way, so it's not like, oh, well, maybe you don't have it in all the way. It's in all the way, as you can see. So just not a big fan of this part here. So I'm not really sure why they decided to just cut the mag off. But again, it, it, it has no, no real bearing because this hits my palm, so not a big deal. Uh, so before we get into some of that, there's the two mags. There's the three back straps. And my wife already took the uh, little keychain that it comes with, which it is a GX4 little mini keychain here with my little dirty Cheeto fingers. Uh, so it's not like the GX4 carry, right? There's no rail, but it's a pretty cool little thing. Um, I thought this was a little extra piece of plastic tab until I was kind of really paying attention. So I guess it's notorious, right? Their takedown system, the flat screwdriver. So it looks like this is to do your takedown. So they gave you a little tool for free there. You don't have to carry around a screwdriver with you if you got your keys on you. That's pretty cool, I thought. Uh, the salesperson was like, yeah, and it comes with your keychain, but it's actually uh, a little extra tool, like I said. All right, so that's pretty cool. All right, so there's our back straps, which again is are easily interchangeable. I'm not going to change them in the uh, video, but it is just a simple row pin here, a little pin. You just punch that out, uh, and it comes slides down. It goes in here, and then you can just pull that off. The other one, as you can see here, there's a tab. You'll just insert that there, push it in, and then put your pin back in. Uh, so real, real big significant difference between this small and the uh, large there. So I really do like those options there. So as you can see, it's a nice size gun. I have a really big hand. What I really enjoyed was this deep cut in here this, uh, on the back of the grip here. So I could really, really get in there. And as you can see, without a mag, I got a full size grip on there. My pinky does kind of come out just a little bit. So it does make me a little uneasy doing the mag change about pinching because I've had some other some other pistols where I'm holding it and it's just pinched the crap out of me. Now this one, I'm going to not move my pinky and it goes right in. I can barely feel it touching me back here. I'm going to go a little bit faster. I'm going to trust it. Didn't pinch, but I kind of move. I kind of hesitant. Let me see if I can. There it goes. I didn't even move it that time and had no pinch. So fat fatter hands fat tactical i'm kind of moving my pinky a little bit but it is not pinching i'm telling you like some of the other pistols so if you're worried about that it did not pinch at all okay, but let's go ahead and go back up top so it does come optics ready i guess this is their, their toro slide so it does have that i do believe it's the uh hollow sun 507k footprint uh, so there is a lot of different uh, optics that have that footprint. You can go ahead and change that, and it's a direct fit. I, um, as far as I know, you do not need an adapter plate. It's a uh, direct fit there. So a really nice slide there. I like these deep uh, serrations here in the front. Uh, so some of you guys like to, you know, slide uh, rack that slide back from the front on your little press checks. Uh, back also has those deep serrations. Um, and I really like how it has got the Taurus, the GX4 carry. And there's, of course, your slide stop. It's uh, not too far out, but it's just enough to get good grip. I've had some pistols where it's just really hard to get to sometimes. This one's pretty smooth. All right. Really nice. I really, I'm just looking at it now. So for your index finger, it does have that stippling there. For your, your thumb here, that's kind of cool. I know some people usually add that in the custom stippling job or add a little grip tape or something like that. Uh, but it kind of comes uh, with, I mean, not kind of, but you see it, it's with it. So that's pretty awesome. The texturing on here, like I said, does feel slightly rough, but not to where it's bothersome. Um, so it really does uh, have a really nice grip. It has this groove in here. So where your thumb naturally kind of comes in there. So that's a really, really nice feel to it. Uh, but back up top, let's take a look at our sights. It does have the uh, back blacked out backs with the white front. Um, and I do believe from what I've heard or seen about these updated Tauruses that these are uh, the Glock channel kind of sights that you can have these interchange with certain Glock sites or aftermarket. It's the same uh, pattern there. So that's kind of cool. I know Glock is one of the you know most biggest known or whatever, but pretty awesome. I didn't have any issues with it at all um, as far as, you know, getting target on site. 
I uh, do believe there is like a half polymer and I think uh, the inside is still reinforced. So you do have that heavier feel to it. And so right now we'll go ahead and go over the weights and all that. I think it's about 21 ounces, but I could be wrong. Uh, but I'll go ahead and put the specs up now that you should be able to see on this side here. And we'll go ahead and talk about that slide length. And I think the barrel, it's pretty equivalent to the macro, um, to the macros of the SIG, which is what the other gun that I carry. Really, really nice. And as you guys can see, uh, I guess finally it comes with the uh, Picatinny rail. Uh, they're the standard so you can mount your lights and everything like that. And again, I like the little, the index and uh, index uh, stippling there, the grip really helps the groove texture here it just feels natural where your thumb goes and it's not kind of flush where you're kind of popped out a little bit and i like this little undercut here the, the little groove the little uh, curve here under the trigger guard so naturally your finger kind of goes a little bit higher it allows you to get that full size grip there for bigger hands and, and i have a large hand so i know some of you guys with average hands uh will have no problem gripping this pistol and there is a slight little groove there to get that that first hand that ring finger there across that little groove so it's just overall just naturally feels great so you see i have the large back strap so that way it hits the meat of my hand back here it feels really really good perfect um i love this here like i said i can get a full grip the mag release is almost at a natural curve where your thumb is that you can just touch it here and boom and you see that sucker ejects there is no problem. Of course, it's going to go a little bit slower once you have the rounds. But if you're, you know, running and gunning or something and you jack, that's going to go out a lot faster with that weight. Right. Uh, but really nice. I can reach it. I don't have to change my grip. I'm not even moving anything on my, my hands or anything like that, whereas some others are more kind of more to the front and almost curved this way. So you almost have to either kind of twist your thumb or you have to come off your grip to extend your, your thumb forward. So this one for me was in a really, really nice natural position. I have no problems uh, ejecting that mag. And it is an ambidextrous. I can't even say that word. I don't know why I say it. It's reversible. That's easier for me. Uh, so you can go ahead and move that around to the other side um, if you're for your left-handed shooters. does have the flat, the safety trigger first. It does have a flat trigger on there. Really nice. I really do like the feel of those flat ones. The curved ones just kind of take up room for me with my finger. I notice when they're a little flatter, it allows me to really come in quicker and not really hit this. Uh, some of those more curved ones, I kind of got to come up a little higher and I'm either catching up here or it's forcing me to hit the front of the trigger guard there. It's a really, really nice trigger. But overall, again, really, really nice pistol. I really love the feeling of it. Can't really complain. Uh, but again, uh, I'll have another video as far as longevity. I've only had the first 100 rounds, the initial shots right out of the box, and it was really, really smooth and extremely accurate. I didn't have any problems, but again, when I'm shooting, I'm more of thinking of self-defense in mind. I'm not really trying to shoot no 25 yards to show off or 50 yards with a pistol. Uh, so it was, I believe I was at seven yards. That's kind of average self-defense uh, issues. Um, so that's kind of where I like to shoot at. But really, really nice. I'm zooming in here a little bit there. Um, from what I've been already seeing, what this basically is, is the GX4 XL slide with a bigger frame or grip, a little bit longer. So that way you can get that full size hand grip on there is what I've kind of been seeing. So from what I kind of just been looking at it, the GX4 to me is kind of like the, again, I'm going to go with SIG because that's the only comparison I can keep, kind of go to naturally in my head. The GX4 is kind of like the uh, competing with the P365, and then you have the XL competing with the XL, right? And this one is more in line with the uh, macro. So we're going to go ahead and roll out to the first initial shots, 100 shots right out of the box. So you guys can see how accurate and how smooth it was and get my thoughts on that. Um, and then we'll roll back to uh, the afterthoughts. All right, so we're going to do a little bit of voiceover with the uh, with the range audio uh, being the way that it is with the gunshots and stuff like that. Uh, but my, these are the first initial shots right out of the box. Um, I'm not really shooting for accuracy. I'm kind of aim, I am aiming in a certain area, but not trying to hit bullseyes or anything. Uh, it was softer than what I thought it was going to be. Um, and again, I, that just been my ignorance being that it's, uh, you know, stories of people saying the Tauruses, you know, oh, they're cheap guns and they're, you know, they suck or whatever. Um, but again, like I said earlier, um, a lot of people that I have talked to have said that lately, the last couple of years with those, that the, 
the G4, G3 series, and, and maybe even the G2 that they have actually uh, has have upped their quality. But it was really soft shooting. Uh, it wasn't as snappy as I thought it was going to be, um, and it was it was fairly accurate. It was on it was pretty pretty on target. And I'm not a professional shooter or, or a, you know a huge. Um, I don't have a ton of experience. I've only been shooting since like January, February, and here's my wife shooting right a tiny tactical, <laughs> um, and she was able to shoot it. I, I want to say semi comfortable. Uh, and she just purchased her first couple guns a few months back and decided to go with the 380s because she ran it a ton of nines when she was going through the process and she just couldn't handle the recoil, the snappiness of most of the nine millimeters. So she was kind of curious and shooting this one. And she said she was able to handle it. She was kind of surprised. She did compare it to my macro comp and said it was just as soft or, or not as snappy rather because they're not super soft, but they're just not as snappy. And she was able to handle it and she's got small hands um i wouldn't say it's super strong strength in her hands like that and that's coming from her own um you know her own words and maybe we'll get her on here later on in another a second video um, but she was able to handle it and get them on target just to see how the gun feels um, but here in a second uh, we'll cut to the part where we're actually are shooting for accuracy and we're doing uh four 10 shot groups uh, to kind of see what the accuracy looks like straight out of the box and of course from from a new shooter all right so now we have our um, our 40 round accuracy test we're doing uh, four 10 shot groups uh, we're at about seven yards uh, i kind of like to shoot between seven and ten yards uh, standard self-defense distance um, and again i'm not a sharpshooter i've only been shooting for about five or six months so the point of this is just to see you know for some of you newer shooters or, or not super experienced um, how accurate this gun will be out of the box for you for somebody who's not, you know, been shooting for years and years. Now, those first couple shots, I will say I, I did push those down a little bit uh, because of the feel of the trigger. And, and, and I'll talk about that later in the afterthoughts or show some close ups. Uh, but that trigger ha does have a hard wall and there's not a lot of like mush before you actually, you know, and it actually goes off. Uh, it's almost like a hard squeeze to where you feel like the trigger is not going to move, like you have to put some initial pressure and it's not moving the trigger after you hit that initial wall. And that's what kind of threw me off. I did have to get used to it. Uh, most guns, there is a little like a slight mush to it as you're squeezing the trigger. Uh, but this one had like a hard, you have to really kind of pull it hard. So you see those first couple shots there at the bottom um, were kind of, I pushed them low. And then when I got a little bit used to it, they were a little bit, I brought them up and then you'll see here, my next groups are a little bit higher, more, more bullseye, bullseye Eve. That's a word. Uh, here's the third 10 shot group. First one I pushed down there and then we're getting used to that wall again, where that trigger squeeze uh, a little bit more on point there. Um, but really, really accurate out of the box. Like I said, and, and I'm not, I can't, I mean, I can't say it enough. I've only been shooting for about five or six months. Um, so for your new people, like right out of the box, I mean, it was, it was, it was pretty on point. And then here's my last four, uh, four, my last 10 shot group. And I was starting to get a little bit tired, getting closer to those hundred rounds. And I did start to push them down. As you can see, uh, I'm kind of going a little bit quicker. So I'm not really getting the best sight right on the bullseye, pretty close to it. So I did kind of push them down maybe about an inch, inch and a half on some of those, uh, had no issues with the slide lock. It was uh, locking back every time the mag was empty. No misfeeds, no misfires or, you know, of any kind with those first hundred uh, rounds. So I, I would like to say that this it performed really well for those first hundred shots. And I can't wait to get it up uh, past 500 rounds uh, for our next video. Maybe it'd be broken in with that trigger. But overall, nice, nice gun. I, I did like it. All right. So we're back after that range uh, footage. So now let me give you my thoughts on the first initial 100 shots. Um, so at first, again, it felt good holding. It felt good shooting. It felt softer than what I thought it was going to be. I was actually pleasantly surprised. I, I was kind of shocked. And, and it felt really nice. I want to say it was a little softer than my macro comp out of the gate. Uh, and as far as accuracy, I mean, I didn't have any problems with accuracy at all. I'm not the best shooter. I just started shooting this year, a couple months, uh, you know, five, six months ago. Uh, but it was pretty dead on. So out of the box for some of you new users, I mean, it's it's a pretty nice little pistol. Um, again, only 100 rounds. I didn't have any misfires, no misfeeds. I had no issues, whatever. It, uh, the slide locked every single time I was out. Uh, so no, no issues at all right out of the box. Uh, really, really nice pistol. Again, I really enjoyed it. Um, only thing that I would say kind of, it didn't bother me, but I had to get used to after the first couple rounds is there's a... Um, there's a really short wall 
get this down here. There's a really short wall, which I like. There's the wall there. There's not much pre-travel. You just kind of get there, start off there, and boom, you're at the wall. That's it. Not much. And so the problem that I kind of had that I had to get used to, not that it was an issue, but again, I had to get used to, was pulling that trigger. I almost felt like it was stuck. But it was because I was trying to shoot a little soft. I wasn't trying to just do a hard press. I was trying to get a feel for that trigger. So it, it made me feel that my initial uh, squeeze, my initial pressure that I was putting on there, like it wasn't going to move. I was just like, uh, what's going on? So a couple of them, I was actually uh, pushing the shot. I was kind of like trying to squeeze and then I would push down so that I had some a uh, couple little lower ones. So I don't know if that's just a breaking in period. It'll soften up a little bit. But even now, I kind of have the, I have my finger to it and I have the most pressure on there now. And I'm applying pressure. And right now, even in the back of my mind, I'm like, uh, is it stuck or something? Is there a safety? Which there's no safety on it. And then there's a really hard, crisp break. So even now, just practicing that trigger. And let's take a look at the uh, reset on that. Really short, really short reset. And again, I'm applying pressure. And then it goes off. It is a hard wall. It almost made me feel like there was something wrong, like it wasn't um, it wasn't going to go. <laughs> but again, that's something that I got used to, just applying a little bit more pressure. There it is. I'm already at the wall, and I'm starting to put pressure now. And then it's a hard, crisp break. So I did like that hard, crisp break. I like that there wasn't any mush in that. Um, but again, something that kind of threw me off, right? Some of the pistols that I ran in and shot, I can feel it. I can move it as soon as I start to apply pressure, whereas this one is a little different. Let's take a look again. And there it goes. Hard, crisp, audible break there. Uh, so once I got used to it, I did like that about that. If you like this review, keep an eye out in the next couple of days, probably on Monday or Tuesday uh, next week. Uh, with a full 500 round review to see if it's held up just for the 500 rounds and if it's made any changes as far as the spring, the way it shoots, uh, the trigger pull and, and everything. But again, over, overall, I got to say it is a nice pistol under 500 bucks. Um, huge comparison to my macro comp. Uh, I can't say there's a world of difference. I really don't want to compare as how the trigger feels and optics because you guys saw my macro comp. Uh, has some uh, a lot more upgrades to it and i've been shooting that for about five or six months so i'm a little biased to it right now but once i do that 500 shot review maybe even closer to a thousand that's probably how many rounds i have in the macro comp i could probably make a much better comparison if anybody's interested in that but taurus gx4 carry overall so far first 100 rounds out of the box soft shooting nice comfortable accurate i like it so next time and we'll see how it holds up to that 500 uh 500 round test Appreciate you guys.